In the short story, How Much Land Does a Man Need by Leo Tolstoy, Pahom is a peasant living on a small plot of land. When his wife brags that a peasant's life is safer than having money, because with money comes temptation, Pahom agrees, adding that he would not be afraid of the devil himself if he only had more land he gets, he wants more. He becomes greedier and greedier until he can control of his life and, in the end, loses everything. This story shows us that even if we have enough to get by the prospect of becoming wealthier is so alluring, it can cause us to risk all the good things we already have. At the start, Pahom is a content, hard-working man. Unfortunately, he makes the mistake of thinking that more land would make his life better. Pahom says to himself, our only trouble is that we haven't land enough. If I had plenty of land, he jumps at the chance, convinced that more would make him happy. He paid off his debts and had plenty of fertile land to grow his crops and raise his cattle, but he was only satisfied for a short while. Pahom was well contented and everything would have been right if the neighboring peasants would only not have trespassed on as cornfields and meadow. So even when he had the extra land he wanted, his life was far from perfect. Disputes with his neighbors and court battles caused Pahom to be disliked by the communa. So even though he had more land, his position in the town was worse than ever. Pahom's life may have been improved by owning more land, but human nature prompted him to continue to be greedy, wanting even more than he already had. One day, Pahom hears word of a place where free land was given to any man who joins the commune with. Immediately, the many acres of land that he does own seem unbearable and barren compared to the promise of better land. He asks himself, why should I suffer in this narrow hole if one can live so well elsewhere? So, although he has plenty of good land and a good life, Pahom sells everything he owns to pursue what he thinks will complete his idea of a happy life. With the new land, Pahom was content. But soon he grew accustomed to it and began to want more once again. After renting extra land, Pahom decided it would be an even better idea if he actually owned all his land for he believed he should be independent and there would not be any unpleasantness. He planned to buy more land, but along came an opportunity that he would not let pass by. A tradesman passing through told Pahom of lush land sold for nearly no money. So Pahom decided that land would be a better deal. If I take it out there, I can get more than 10 times as much for the money. He figured, so he abandoned everything he had worked so hard for and went to check out the land. Just as the tradesman had promised, the land was lush and fertile, and farmers promised to give Pahom all the land he could walk around in a day for a very cheap price. Pahom walked the entire day, but greed overtook him, and he bit off more than he could chew. Exhausted, he tried to make it back to the designated meeting place before the day was over but his body was too tired. Defeated, he made one last effort. There's a plenty of land, but will God let me live on it, he wondered. This journey was to no avail, he wondered. This journey was to no avail. He had taken too much and died in the process. Through the story, we are shown that human nature pushes us to want more and more. We are not content with our lives, no matter how well off we may be. And while trying to better out standard of living, we put ourselves in danger of ending up with nothing. The story, How Much Land Does a Man Need, consists of nine units contained separate ideas with full of moral teaching. It has explained author's religious experience. It deals with moral problems in the country life because of spiritual crisis created by human greed and temptation. It suggests us that human desire has no limitation. Men desire to take possession of more than they need in benefits of themselves. Thus, greed has no specific boundaries that ultimately leads life to death. The protagonist of the story is a peasant named Pahom, who at the beginning can be heard complaining that he does not own enough land to satisfy him. He states that if I had plenty of land, I shouldn't fear the devil himself. Unbeknownst to him, Satan is present sitting behind the stove and listening. A short amount of time later, a landlady in the village decides to sell her ether date, and the peasants of the village buy as much of that land as they can. Pahom himself purchases some land, and by working off the extra, Land is able to repay his debts and live a more comfortable life. However, Pahom then becomes very possessive of his land, and this causes arguments with his neighbors. Threats to Pahom his building began to utter. Later, he moves to a larger area of land at another commune. Here we can grow even more crops and amass a small fortune. But he has to grow the crops on rented land, which irritates him. 
Finally, he is introduced to the Bashkirs and is told that they are simple-minded people who own a large amount of land. Pahom goes to them to take as much of their land for as low a price as he can negotiate. Their offer is very unusual, for a sum of one. Thousand rubles. Pahom can walk around average as much as he wants. Starting at daybreak, marking his route with a spade along the way. If he reaches his starting point by sunset that day, the entire area of land his route encloses will be his. But if he does not reach the starting point, he will lose his money and receive no land. He is delighted as he believes that he can cover a great distance and he's chanced upon the bargain of a lifetime. That night, Pahom experiences a surreal dream in which he sees himself lying dead by the feet of a devil who is laughing. He stays out as late as possible, marking out land until just before the sun sets. Toward the end, he realizes he is far from the starting point and runs back as fast as he can to the waiting bash gears. He finally arrives at the starting point just as the sun sets. The Bashkirs cheer his good fortune, but exhausted from the run. Paham drops dead. His servant buries him in an ordinary grave only six feet long, thus ironically answering the question posed in the title.